From Washington, this is the TV News.TV for June 17, 2011. Brought to you by PRX Media, your PR, on-air promo, and social marketing prescription for success. On Facebook, search PRX Media. Hello, I'm Jeff Grimshaw, and we begin with my birthday celebration. Okay, with that all over, my thanks go out to the gajillion birthday greetings that I have received from all my Facebook pals. You're all just the best, and you've got to love social media. But right now, it's time to move on to some real news. Hey, what was the touchstone phrase uttered on TV in the past 20 years? Was it this? Remember these words. If it doesn't fit, you must have quit. Yeah, could be. Well, at the NCTA cable show recently, Oprah, in a general session, uttered one that's way, way up there, and it goes a little bit like this, quote, I have a dream of O.J. Simpson confessing to me, and I'm going to make that happen, people, unquote. Wow, no overpromising there from the queen of TV. Now, the message Oprah was really trying to get out was, how all in committed she now is to making OWN a success. And it could use that kind of commitment because in May, OWN delivered 24% less overall audience than its more than weak predecessor, Discovery Health. You know, we at the TV News.TV, we can't help but <laughs> chuckle warmly at this development with Oprah because we distinctly remember our media PR maven, Arthur Sando, advising Oprah and OWN to take this exact recommit yourself tact. Did it result from Sando's report nearly a month ago that questioned her commitment to OWN? Well, head on into our archives and check out our May 19th edition and you'll see. And that's why you should make a point to spend quality time with Arthur Sando and his media PR scription reports available beginning every Thursday right here on the TV News. Saturday, November 12th, the Turner Alumni Group Celebration happens at the Hilton Atlanta. All Turner employees, past and present, are invited to join special honored guest Ted Turner, host Bill Tush, plus all of your Turner colleagues and pals for a mega event that's been three and a half decades in the making. For information and registration, head on over to the Turner Alumni Group Celebration page on Facebook. And now, let's get you to our sports guy who sees all, knows all, Eric Mackerlin, who's got the sports TV news. Thanks, Jeff. And, you know, the NHL season might be over now that the Boston uh, Bruins have defeated the Vancouver Canucks in seven games in the Stanley Cup Finals. But the good news for the NHL on television just keeps coming. Wednesday night's Game 7 between the Bruins and the Canucks registered a 5.7 overnight rating and a 10 share. That ties the best ever performance for a Game 7 NHL game on a network. Okay, that's the best since 2003. Uh, terrific. That, that, that game was up 14% from the 2009 Stanley Cup Game 7, which was between Pittsburgh and Detroit. Now, the great thing that the NHL always worries about when it comes to television ratings in the United States is if it gets a Canadian team in the finals. All right? That means you lose one American market whose ratings would normally be goosed. Okay, that's what exactly what happened this year with the Vancouver Canucks. But as we saw, ratings were up from a matchup two years ago that, that faced off between two of the best American hockey markets. Great news for the NHL. All right, and, and you know, just following on that, it's the highest Stanley Cup overnight rating for a game featuring a Canadian team in 38 years. Okay, in 39 years since the Bruins won the Cup. So, wow. Nothing but good news for Gary Bettman and everybody in New York. Way to go getting those numbers when people expected them to be down. events and opportunities brought to you by dude walker 
Get the best voice. Get the best price. Get dude at dudewalker.com. Well, Monday on the TV news, Gabriel Reyes will be in to deliver our exclusive Hispanic media report. And if you want to stay connected to the TV news, here are all of our coordinates on Facebook, on Twitter, and on LinkedIn. And of course, we would love to spread your message to the entire industry via a sponsorship right here on the TV News. Just like our newest sponsor, PRX Media. Now to get the ball rolling, email us at advertise at the TVnews.tv. And that closes out this edition of the TV News. I'm Jeff Grimshaw. We thank you very much for watching and as always, go out and make it a good day. <laughs>